Well, guys, I think I did it. I think I finally made the ultimate XP farm. Alright guys, now it's time to show you all how to build this awesome XP farm. And what's awesome about it even more is that it can pretty much be expanded infinitely as long as your toy box can handle it because it's just one giant tower. And I'm going to lay out all I can on the ground and we can start off that way. And then I'll kind of show you guys what you need to do. Disney did a very good job and pretty much nerfed all of my ideas that I had in the original game. None of them worked. This thing took me hours to get working because everything I tried, none of it worked. So I'm going to do, is that too many? Yeah, let's remove a couple of these because I'm just going to show you the basics of it and then you can kind of expand on it how you wish. So let's just do four. That's all we need. So you can use as many enemy generators as you want. It's just how much time you want to spend building it. And then what you'll need is, I think they're on this. Yeah, you'll need a ton of kill switches, which I'll add later. And a few, where are they at? Trigger areas. That's all you're going to need. Super simple. And then some walls, of course. But again, super simple. So I like laying everything out on the ground so I know what it is. And I can know everything's linked properly. So what you want to do is just new logic connection from the trigger. Make sure you do stepped on by a player because if an enemy accidentally spawns on it, You've kind of got yourself stuck. So just any player. Go to the first kill. What's this called? Enemy generator, sorry. Do a boss enemy. It seems to give you more XP and it really doesn't matter. All of them die the same. So just do random boss enemy. Um. Yeah, I, no, you can just do one. That should work. And then click on the enemy generator you just selected. Just do a new logic connection. When the enemy is defeated... It's very important that you do defeat it and not generate it because then they kind of get stuck. Do another enemy. And then just pretty much loop this process for all of them. So enemy defeated. Select the next one. Do another boss enemy. Select that one again. New logic connection. Enemy defeated. Select the last one. And again, you just do this for as many triggers, or as many triggers, as many enemy generators as you have. And then when you get to the last one, which for my case is this one, select it. Same thing, enemy defeated, and make sure you select the first one. That causes an endless cycle, so that way the enemies theoretically will never stop spawning until you leave the game. That is the biggest thing you have to do. Make sure you connect the last one with the first one, no matter how many you have, and you'll be good. Once that's done, go ahead and select them. I like to do it this way. I'm also kind of a noob, and I haven't been able to figure out how to get spark mode to work properly. Once you do that, raise it up. I recommend raising it up about two sets higher to kind of start it out. And I don't think you need to do it right above you. We'll try it this time and see if it works. It wasn't working earlier, but we'll see what happens this time. Hopefully we'll get lucky. And then just do this for every single one of them. Uh, I always press X instead of A, because I'm, I'm so used to doing that to build stuff. Bring it over, make them symmetrical, because you got to. Do that. The next one, bring it on up. And let me know if y'all have built any crazy stuff in the game. This is probably the craziest thing I've built so far. I've been so focused on this and working a whole lot in the interior. So I'll have some new videos on that out soon. Because I'm honestly, I'm probably going to play in that a ton more than I am the actual playsets. I'm loving interiors right now. So once you do that, you're good. Add a trigger area. Just drop it as far down. Just make sure the first one's inside it. So raise it up like that. Place one there. Drop another one down, place it there. So I guess you can get, yeah, you'll be able to get two enemy generators per trigger area. So you can kind of base it around that. And then once you have those, you will take where the kill switch is at. This is the thing that made it a little more complicated than before, but this, it works amazing. So right below this, drop this down right here. Try to fill the entire trigger area with these. Very important because you don't want any of these guys getting out. It makes things very complicated. And also, be sure to save every once in a while so if you mess up, you can revert. I can't tell you how many different levels I've had to reset because I accidentally screwed something up. So make sure you save. That is very important. Then with these, what you want to do is select the top trigger area. New logic connection when they're entered. Just do by AI just to be safe. Because then if you have accidentally go up there, you won't get killed by it as well. Then select defeat from one of the enemy kill switch thingies. Doesn't matter which one. Just make sure you select one. 
Same thing for this one, entered by any AI. Select the kill switch, select defeat, and then all you need to do is just box it up. That way the XP doesn't go flying out because it will do that and it helps it collect a lot better. Go ahead and find your walls, where are they at? Uh, I'll just do the big one. Rotate it around. We'll just leave one side open for now. So we'll make this the back, I guess. Can I get it symmetrical? Okay, there we go. Bring it all the way up for all of them. Box it all in. Very important that you box it in, guys. Very, very important. Bring this one around, same thing. I don't think the top really matters. Don't you have to worry about that. Just make sure, like I said, pretty much try to seal it as tight as possible. I probably could have done it a little bit tighter, but I chose not to because I didn't think about it ahead of time. But if you can like make it where the walls are pretty much touching that kills the uh, trigger areas, that's perfect. And then, okay, I'm hitting those apparently. Okay, so now that those are there, we'll turn this and back it up one. So it'll fit now. Can I do it this way? Wait. Sorry, I'm having a little brain fart. I will still like that. It's not a big deal because it's still in line, so nothing should come out. Put those there. Put them on here too, just so we can lock everything in. Now, fingers crossed this works because I'm doing it live with commentary, so if this doesn't work, then it all has failed. So let's hop in and see if they start spawning. Please spawn. And here they come. And the XP will slowly start forming to you. Because all the kill switches are above, it takes them a while to kind of fall down. But as you can see, it's pretty much an infinite wave. They don't stop. Look at the sparks for the blues just piling up. And since, for some reason, the sparks seem like they're a lot harder to start traveling to you now. But, dude, this is working so much better than my old one, actually. This is awesome. But as you can see, you're leveling up crazy fast. Look at all the sparks around you. It works absolutely awesome. Super easy to set up once you know what you're doing, and it works like a charm. I really can't think of an, any better way to do it, and you really don't need to add that many to it. Like, you don't need that many enemy generators. Just four, and look how fast I'm leveling up. So, it works crazy well, guys. Try it out. Let me know if it works for you. Send me some pictures on Twitter. The link for my Twitter is in the description. Let me see what kind of stuff you've built to try to build some awesome XP farms. I'd love to see them. Maybe I can share some of them. Check out your toy boxes. We'll see as time rolls around. We'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up for this awesome enemy generator. It took a ton of time. Super happy with how it turned out. So give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new to my channel, because I have tons of Disney Infinity content coming for you guys every day. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later!